like dash attack for burst movement, but other than that, you know, Yoshi's moves a, li a little bit more on the stubby side, but, you know, that set is in the past, and right now we're going to be looking at VV versus Carflow. You know, there was a couple times where VV was trying to rep the hero, uh, the uh, Joker a little bit, see if they could go back and finally find one of these higher, uh, upper echelon characters that they can play to high effectiveness. And the Joker looked good, but what it always comes down to for VV is uh, really returning to this hero more so than any other character. And Carflow, in the meantime, is taking advantage of that pick more and more with each, uh, each passing up air. Roy, such a house when it comes to pressure. It's a true rushdown menace, and Hero can definitely fall victim to some rushdown gameplay. Mm -hmm. Great shield there by Carflow, just <laughs> barely not getting hit by the uh, that kaboom. And I mean, you know, like you were saying about VV kind of maybe wavering a little bit in these these characters. I personally love seeing you know VV's Hero. I, I think was, it's great. I always love watching it. Yeah, it's very much like taking advantage of slow buttons in a way that uh, Smash Ultimate can provide. You still have access to a lot of moves out of dash, and you can still threaten with giant moves like that Zapple and these Kabooms when you find them lingering the on the neutral getup. hitboxes. We take those for sure. We always do. You know, Hero needs it. When you're able, when a lot of your best moves come from uh, randomness, they better be pushed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Kaboom. We see yet another kaboom. Not quite, not quite getting it there. Not uh, just not in the range of the vacuum box for it. Had the roll in read, but wasn't able to uh, find the punish oh. as they didn't reach five mana in time. They had the accelerado, which is great for recovery, but didn't quite reach the threshold to use the simple whoosh, and Vivi will drop the stock, but also regain all of that MP. Right, and I mean, he's got so much extra credit on Carflow right now. If he's able to take this stock in relatively short order, the the uh, Zapple putting in plenty of work. Psych up, up tilt, absolutely will do it. And I believe he is accelerated and oofed right now, so Vivi is a threat to be reckoned with. Oh, just getting the jab, but still, jab 1, 2, 3 does 20, and a forward air does 22. Uh, he needs it. <laughs> he needs it. Oomph is absolutely wild. Just a simple 1.2 times buff, and suddenly damage gets out of hand very quickly. Not to mention when Psychop's online and the bang to interrupt. Not going for any spells. I wanted the Hocus Pocus, I will be honest. Uh, you know. <laughs> News now just going for the heal instead. That's Vivi's uh, hero to a T. It's high percentage and consistency in a character that can be a little bit natively inconsistent. They make the most out of it, especially with DI like that, to survive as the Accelerado comes in. Look at that initial dash. Accelerado is such a... It is Hero's best spell, I will be perfectly honest. As the punish comes in, F to 1, 2. I don't believe Carflow touched the ground anyway, so that was no jump on the swipe on that little F tilt. And yeah, F tilt, all it took right there. Carflow one, going two. for that uh, blazer, trying to get Vivi off of him, but Vivi held, held fast. Yeah, just... Holding shield, uh, playing the playing the ledge like uh, many players choose to do as the the lingering hitbox of Kaboom really emphasized just how potent that button can be. That's that's a 599 move. Oh yeah, yeah. Hero is a, is a fun mix of moves that are like wow, this is a, like a just a base game move, like a frame 17 back air. Oh, <laughs> what the like this is just kind of it's it's fine, but it's nothing crazy, and then. Kaboom, Thwack, Accelerado, <laughs> like, oomph. It's just the menu is hero will continue and always will be hero's claim to relevancy because sometimes you can high roll matchups and overcome just about anything, and sometimes you get a you get a little unlucky. Sometimes the cards just aren't in your favor. Yeah, it's be like that it do, but Vivi with this high, with his uh, more laid back play style willing to look at menu and not choose anything as well as firm mixture between the normal specials and the menu uh, keeps carflow on their toes which is why i do like this switch over to the crom 
Krom can still be a speed blitzing type of character just by nature of having that level of speed, but Krom's kit can also be much more suited to a defensive game, much, much more than Roy's can. Right, because, you know, he has that consistent hitbox. He doesn't necessarily need to be up in Vivi's face all the time. He can space Vivi out a little bit more. And on top of the fact that uh, Krom, as a character model, is a little bit taller than Roy, which means his wingspan's a little longer, which means his sword actually reaches a little bit farther. <laughs> I did not know that. It's minuscule, <laughs> but it can matter. <laughs> Vivi not finding the zoom, has to go for the okay. swoosh. There oh, we go, there. finding the zoom. As soon as they were in the uh, deep off the, uh, in the bubble, then they were able to find that zoom as it does come up a little bit higher as the F tilt Psych one, up two. F -tilt. Yeah, uh, it looked like Carflow was expecting Vivi to try and hunt out for a grab and the two hit con conversion uh, messed up Carflow in that instance is will Vivi get another zoom instead? Oh, no, they will no. go for the full swoosh and get properly punished with that drop zone bear. Just throwing out the tiny little fireball. I really like the simple frizz when combined with Accelerado because it turns what is a minuscule fireball for low MP into a potential hit confirm in center stage off of a projectile. That's rather yeah. low committal. Yeah, no, it's somewhat similar just on a much wider scale uh, to say like a Ryu slow fireballs or even like the Shakunetsu where he can use it, he can throw it out and then just use it to threaten space as he approaches. Because but just throw it out. Look at all of these uh, spells, the sizzle and the bang, both coming out and covering such a massive horizontal space. He is a little bit low on mana, but keeping that management to just enough in order to be potent as Psychop is sing is uh, lingering around, waiting for a potential grab or a strong hit like an up tilt in order to close out this stock. Carpo is playing this so well. Yeah, no, I think uh, Vivi was actually maybe fishing a little bit for uh, grabs or like the, the wide up tilt to get that psych up kill, but Carflow's just been spacing himself so well. But sometimes kaboom, just, I think that might have been a shield poke. I don't even know. Uh, we can definitely check on the replay, but we can also check out a insane string as Carflow Ooh. tried run up DP and didn't get punished for it. That up smash, a uh, potent one it hits but has no scoop hitbox, so you've got to be on point. Jab one, two, three, and take the Crackle Slash. Looking to play this ledge. That's no jump from Carflow, but the Flame Slash does not come out in time. Ooh, had to whack on deck. You gotta think about it. Ooh, you, always, you always think about it for just for a brief moment. Psych up and Accelerado. Avoiding this grab will be very... Oh, the Infinity Stones have been collected. <laughs> a back air break shield, a down air break shield as well. Ooh, but not much uh, mana on deck. Vivi had to use some to get back to st uh, back to stage. And another drop zone bear. I feel like most, if not all, of Carflow's kills that game were that drop zone bear. I believe that is correct. Just really proper counterplay for uh, a really proper counterplay for the hero up B and for a lot of up specials that don't have a hitbox when rising. Mm -hmm. You're just able to drop from ledge throw out a, a wide arcing disjointed hitbox that will close out the stock and for hero you're forcing them to lean into that uh, randomness that a little bit of rng despite zoom having a higher percent chance of showing up when you're in the bubble it's still a roll yeah and you're still saying find zoom or die mm -hmm. and DV did end up <laughs> dropping his three stocks all to those drop zone bears as we go back to PS2 and a stay a skin swap on top of a stage swap going from Dragon Quest 8 to 11. Uh, what is it? Dragon Quest 11 S Heroes Echo, of a, Echoes, Echoes of an, an Elusive, elusive Age S. Definitive S. Edition. Definitive Edition S. <laughs> Honestly, still one of the greatest RPGs, though. It's so good. Oh, it's great. It's just hilarious. I know. <laughs> Look at that forward tilt hitting platform. Like it's I know. these little consistency plays from Krom really make the difference. But Accelerado can turn just about anything around. 
I, I really like uh, Vivi's usage of Accelerado right there. Because, um, you know, when Vivi's in that menu, so many of his options cover that horizontal range. So it baited Carflow into taking the high road. And because Vivi had Accelerado, he can so easily threaten that. Just like Carflow threatening with another drop zone bear. Yeah, 4 for 4 as on this Krom. Uh, we'll have to see what he gets from Wendy's afterwards. But <laughs> as for right now, he's got a game to... Uh, get ahead and, and even perhaps win as we're in into an even spot on game two. Looking for the full charge on that Kafriz, but Vivi not tr trying to bait an approach out from Carfla, who's not falling for it. Instead of just using that speed to force Vivi into really rough spots. I think maybe a little bit of a panic boost right there, getting Carflow the in that he needs to get even more damage off of Vivi. But <laughs> sizzle and sizz. High level, low level, but either way, frame seven apiece and covering so much of that horizontal space, as you were mentioning. This accelerado is going to be so important as the eight, as the very center of that kaboom catches car flow before they are able to make it to ledge. And at the very uh, at the very focal point, that crom is gone. 94 you know, now. The stars really aligned for that kaboom to come in because it was just the perfect spell for Vivi to roll to get that uh, edge guard. But already, uh, uh, game three, last stock right now. Yeah, first time we're seeing up uh, a couple up tilts come out from Vivi throughout this set, usually playing the more jump out of shield or up B in order to get away with that whoosh. Uh, surprisingly quick as it comes out frame four and only for five mana. Throwing around these frizzes, trying to make Carflow regret some of these approaches, and instead just the run up, the jab, and, or run up jab, and uh, how they took an earlier stock with the pivot cancel F tilt. Horizontal space has been Vivi's domain, and when you try to wait a little bit, that's when Hero starts finding these buffs, and at 103, up tilt is going to threaten stock if you're not careful. Yeah, and we can see right there already Vivi trying to anti-air those uh, neutral air approaches by Carflow. And he finds it, and that is going to be taking it. Vivi in a very close set, taking it 2-1. It was finding it and crouching as well. Just Vivi waits, rolls in, and sits right mm -hmm. here. Just waiting to see how, what Carflow, uh, what they're going to do in a position like this. Because by doing nothing at all, they're ready to react to if if uh, Carflow decides to drop in, they're ready to react with, to an up tilt. But Carflow could also air dodge away to try and survive further, air dodge to platform. By sitting here and doing nothing, Vivi effectively put Carflow into a position of check. And as mm -hmm. soon as Carflow made their decision, that was made. Yeah. Watching the different play styles of New York is always baffling because mm -hmm. we get to watch players like Carflow and, and players like Bars the Journey like be up in your face uh, playing these rushdown characters. Uh, the bevy of Yoshis all having different little twists on how they want to approach the game. Mm -hmm. And then players like Vivi and Dill who choose to take things as uh, one step at a time and make the high percentage plays that count in more frequent scenarios and close out stocks off of uh, large, well, off of forcing and conditioning large windows instead of just the once you're in, make things explode. Right. It's, and I mean, it's a whole, the whole spectrum here in at Zeno. Yeah. And I mean, I really feel like that speaks to what it takes to get to these upper levels is being able to deal with all of those different play styles. There's so certainly a lot of adaptation that needs to happen at the drop of a hat as we're seeing multiple game threes happen throughout not only the pool, the ways to get into top 24 winner side, but also now in top 24 winner side uh, as we have our last winner's quarters set.